We present a Muse, a framework to generate realistic emotional 3D body gestures directly from speech sequences with user control over the generated emotion. Generating gestures solely from speech with emotional control is a difficult task. Existing methods for synthesizing 3D human gestures from speech have shown promising results, but they do not explicitly model the impact of emotions on the generated gestures. Instead, these methods directly output animations from speech without control over the expressed emotion. In contrast to previous work, our goal is to animate expressive 3D bodies with user control over the generated gestures. Here we demonstrate the animation of a 3D body from an emotional speech on the left, which is then edited and animated with a different emotion on the right. For example, I like painting a lot. However, I chose painting as my profession. I don't think I can make a lot of money as a painter, but if I go for a major like finance, I can get a fine. I like painting a lot. However, I choose painting as my profession. I don't think I can make a lot of money as a painter. But if I go for a major like finance... To evaluate a muse, we compare it with recorded reference sequences referred to as ground truth and to state-of-the-art simple model-based methods. Compared to these methods, our generated gestures are better synchronized with the speech rhythm and they better represent the emotion of the input speech sequence. Some people pelting stones at, at dogs, watching them yelp in pain, amused. Some people, some... We also compare muse generations with baseline methods trained on core skeleton data. Our method creates more appropriate emotional as well as synchronized gestures compared to these methods. Our course, and then we sit in our home studying. But still, I like this time because we are free from school and waking up early in the morning. And then the week begins to break down. The we conduct ablation studies for hours without motion, prior and hours without the audio disentanglement model. Amuse produces superior results compared to the generations from ablation models. He joined the same institute where my mother was working currently. I just lent my mother's phone number to him. A day before my departure, form style transfer by combining a happy emotion sequence's content, generating a corresponding gesture at the top left, and merging it with the emotion latent vector from an angry speech sequence of a different subject, resulting in an angry gesture at the bottom left in the target subject style. Comparatively, GT happy on the top right is paired with a muse generated content on the top left, showcasing visual similarities. Additionally, we reference the target subject's angry sequence in the bottom right, associated with a different audio. Here, Amuse adeptly produces gestures for an angry sequence in the target style, characterized by aggressive postures and squared shoulders, despite the input being a happy speech utterance. Last week, I also went to the Bolis Temple and I was assigned to get a job of standing in front of the elevator to be a guide. When people pass by. The gestures of an individual can significantly change across repetitions. Amuse addresses this by producing diverse generations for the same audio input by using different random noise vectors for conditioning. When I was 18, my, my dog was still with me. Uh, I love that little dog. Uh, then the dog started to have uh, mini, mini strokes and Finally, we demonstrate the generalization of a muse for in the wild audio sequences. What he wanted, and I never judged him. Why? Because I never rejected him. In spite of all his imperfections, I'm a fan of man! In summary, we have presented a muse, a framework to generate gestures synchronized with the speech rhythm that matches the emotion of the input speech. Once trained, Amuse synthesizes vivid 3D human gestures directly from speech with control over the emotions by combining the content from the driving speech with the emotion of another speech sequence, generalizing for audios unseen during training. Thank you for your attention. Our code and method will be publicly available for research purposes.